Buy from Brooklyn. Forget about it. Forget about it. All right, this is how we're doing the current setup. This is how we are doing the current setup right now with the PIP. PIP, both cameras, chest mounted action four, bike mounted action five, streaming RTMP to Moblin. And then we control through Moblin. See, I got my little suite, my uh, scene switchers over here. We got the front camera. We got the DJI PIP camera. So that's how we're doing the PIP right now. Live from Williamsburg. Great day for a great day. We're gonna post the full tutorial. All right, so in this video here, I'm gonna show you how to do picture in picture with two DJIs through the Moblin app on iOS. So, Moblin app. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we need to create a hotspot. So you have to figure out what you're gonna to wanna to use as a hotspot. I've had experience using this as a hotspot. Uh, I don't get the best performance out of it. So what I do is I use my Galaxy S24 here and I turn this on as my hotspot. Make sure your Wi-Fi is always off uh, when you're using a hotspot. So I make this my mobile hotspot, it'll connect. This has an SSID and password. You're gonna connect the Wi-Fi on your mobile phone. You're gonna connect that to the Wi-Fi on your hotspot. Okay, so this is my indoor Wi-Fi. We don't want that. We want the all day. The all day is this phone right here. So once that's connected there, also keep your phone off low power mode. If you have it on low power mode, you're gonna want your Bluetooth on, you're now connected to this hotspot here. Next step, turn on your DJI cameras. All right, we're starting fresh. So we have two DJI cameras. Let's ignore Biggie. And we have ourselves the hotspot phone, All right? Let's move this over here a little bit. Um, what we're gonna do is we need to create an RTMP server, okay? So you're gonna disable that. The port is always 1935. You're gonna to have to create two of these RP RTMP servers to get picture in picture on the mobile app, at least through the DJIs. You could do picture in picture with the, ex with the internal camera on here, but I think it's cooler to use it like this because then you can mount the cameras on a bike or whatever you may want to do. So you're going to create exactly like this. You can name it my stream, the stream keys, DJI, the latency is 2000. Um, and then you're going to go back. Then you can create another one, same situation. Okay. Then make sure they're both enabled. Okay. So you're going to want to click enable here. Once that's done, now you're gonna go to the DJI cameras. So I have the OA4 set up, I have the OA5 set up. Let's start with the OA4. So what you're gonna do is, you can name the camera whatever you want. Once you have it connected via Bluetooth, it should show up over here. Here you go. So we have both the Action 4, Action 5. We're gonna click the Action 4 for this one. You're gonna enter the, uh, the SSID and password of your hotspot, okay? Once that's done, you're then gonna pick your URL. Usually it's the one that starts with 192. That's usually the one that, that works for me. If it doesn't work, um, just try the next one, so on and so forth. Also, you're gonna pick your resolution, your bit rate, and you could uh, also pick the image stabilization here. I usually go around eight megabits. All right, once that's all set up, now you're gonna go to the bottom, start. So we're starting the OA4 first. Okay, OA4 is starting, preparing to live stream. Now you're gonna see it do this prepare to live stream thing until it's connected. Once you get connected here, now if I pick, I have DJI as my main. So there, there he is right there. DJI action four is now connected. You can see it on this end too. Okay, now you're gonna go back 
and you're going to do the same thing with the action five. All right, same situation, except for this one, for your stream, you're going to connect it to my stream too. Okay, server, regular, my stream too. Same situation with the 192, or just keep trying them till one of them works. This one's going to connect now. Now, both of them are connected, okay? So I can now switch back and forth in Moblin. I can go from the action five to the action four. Now to get picture in picture, all you're gonna do is create a scene. I think that's the wrong one. It should be this one. I don't know, anyways, let's just create the scene, whatever. We're gonna start fresh. Let's start fresh, let's create a scene. So what you're gonna do is uh, let's say we want our DJI PIP, right? You're going to have uh, the main video source will be my stream RTMP. Okay, that's your first one. And then you're going to create a widget. Okay, your widget is going to be the second camera. So you'll go back here add a widget we could just create one if we want my widget i have one already as the oa5 uh all you're gonna have to do is pick the type type is going to be video source and then your actual video source would be my stream rtmp2 so then when you go back and you add that widget into your scene dji pip you'll add widget it'll pull up here and now you have picture in picture with the DJI. So you could have one mounted uh, on the front of your bike, one mounted on the back of your bike, one chest mounted. You could do this in a car. You could do this in your house. You could do this all over the place. Um, pretty simple, pretty to the point. You can move this camera around. You can make it bigger. You'll find that also in the scenes. So when you go to DJI PIP that you created, uh, on the widget itself, you would be able to move it around. So if you watch me do that, it'll move around. You see that it's moving right there. So that's it. That's all you have to do. If you wanted it to just be the camera and the scene, you could do that as well. You would just have to make sure that the source is correct. So same situation, you go to scene, I'll go to my ordinary PIP here. Oh, I think it actually works. It's just that it's pressed up. Yeah, it's pressed up against the, that's why it wasn't working. So I could have just one action for, or one DJI camera with the regular camera from the phone. So that's how you create this awesome scenario. And this is how I was streaming on my bike. Hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments or hit me up. Make sure to like and subscribe.